everybody, how you doing today? All right, so as you can see, we got the deck done. Hopefully you've watched the deck video. We got our, our furniture out. We're getting ready for our fall to have our fireplace. So that's what's next on our place. We got our, our Detroit coasters out. So you got it upside down. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> you know, you got our <laughs> Detroit coasters out. Shout out to my boy who sent me my Detroit coasters. I uh, love you, my brother. All right. So we're about to work on a, a walkway overhang. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some handrails here. And then we're going to put some 8 foot to 10 foot post right there to create an overhang right here. Then we're going to put the tiles for the stairs. And after that, we'll begin the retainer wall. Then I got a surprise for you guys for the retainer wall. You know we're into our symbolisms now of communicating the conscious level that we're trying to articulate to you guys. <laughs> and we're hoping that you guys are feeling the vibe and feeling the frequency. But So we got something special for that plan. Then after that, this out here, I'll tell you a little story. Hardest thing I've done out here. You guys have seen us build this house. You guys have seen us create functionality from water, put in our own solar, learn plumbing, learn electricity. Never knew none of this stuff, you know. Word is born. I didn't know none of this stuff. Neither did my wife. So we did all this stuff, built this house. There was nothing here. It was just looked like that, nothing here. The hardest shit I've done since I've been here was grew grass. <laughs> so I grew grass. <laughs> I grew grass at the RV when we was at the RV. So when I first got here, I was so determined to have grass because as you can see, excuse me, it's so dry and so, you know, dry out here, so rough. You know, I was like, man, fuck this. I need some grass, you know. <laughs> so I got up every day, every day. I'm going to say it one more time. Every day. Didn't miss a day for two years. Like clockwork. 5.30 a.m. Luckily, the re the exit we live at, there's a rest stop. I would go up there every day, some days, twice a day, just to get free water so I could have grass because we paid for water to get delivered at that time. We didn't have a well yet. So we couldn't afford to use the purchase water to water the grass. So I would get my ass up every a.m. at 5.30, go fill up 120 gallons, jug them things, carry them, just so I could have grass. So, we're going to have some artificial shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. We ain't doing that no more. I ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> grass is too much out here. Yeah, I know. So, this sun ain't playing. And for those of you paying attention, there's, there's things going on with the sun. That's one of the things they're hiding from you. Again, I throw you clues. I throw you hints. It's for you to dig, for you to see. But part of uh, what's happening has a lot to do with the sun. That's why they hid the sun from you. They hid the sun from you by lying to you, telling you that the fourth element was fire. So quick little lesson. All the elements, all the Elohim, give life. Water, air, earth, and sun, not fire. Fire destroys life. The fourth element is not fire. Fire is a manipulator of elements. The fourth element is the sun. Now that was hidden from the sun. Gives you your vitamin D. Grows your food. Gives you warmth. Hell, gives me free electricity. So the sun is not your enemy. The sun is your friend. But that sun was hidden from you. So I'm going to stop there. But that's what you're going to see coming up next. So we're not going to probably do no intro to this video. So I'm going to give you my sermon now. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what you're going to see. We're going to create this entrance. So when you walk up to the house, you guys are going to see this just ain't no, you know, Rudy Poot, tiny home bullshit, you know. And then again, trying to throw this message to you guys. You guys can do this. You know, this thing cost us what we're about to do now. Cost us about $900. It wasn't a lot of money. It cost 900 bucks. 
But once we're done with it, it's going to look grandiose. So, until next time, peace. Free. Be free. <laughs> so these should be some pretty easy tiles. The question I had when I was buying them, I wasn't sure if I was going to find the right size because it's a 16 by 32. That's a little bit of an awkward size to find, but we were able to find one and find the outdoor one, which was perfect. And once we get this done, this section here, we'll have a retaining wall, and then my wife got a giant surprise for you guys. She gonna throw something at me if I spill the beans. <laughs> So I'm not going to spill the beans. Don't spill the beans. But you're going to love it. Everybody. Okay, little snippet where we are. We got three posts in. So this will be the handrails posts. We got the stairs put in. Uh, we'll have a, uh, a iron handle that'll go between the posts here. We got this one to put and then we'll have two. Those large posts over there will go right here and then this will be a, a overhang walkway that'll come over that'll hang about a foot about six inches to eight inches past this here so this will be a whole overhang then from here you'll have your retainer wall which will be a garden uh, which is what all those blocks over there are for so me and my wife have to carry and move those but we're gonna make that a, a different video <laughs> so one lesson I want to give you that I learned. Alright, so I was finding a lot of things on YouTube that talked about dry pouring. And so I started doing some dry pouring stuff. And dry pouring is faster conceptually uh, for small projects. But do not dry pour if you got to drill into something. It don't cure out enough uh, to make it strong enough. It, it's fine for holding weight on a, uh, not like a foundation with a heavy weight, but like when I do this retainer wall, I'm going to dry pour it because it's not a lot of weight to get my, my levelness. But when you got to drill into this stuff, do not dry pour. Uh, I dry poured all of them out of all of them. These two came out real good. That one was so, so this one, I had to put some more polymer in it and I got to go with a bigger anchor and I'm going to try to um, put some epoxy in it, some Sika, to make sure it's strong enough this time because I had to take it out and I got to redo it. So, you know, be careful with that dry pour stuff. Small projects and just for leveling. No heavy weight and nothing you got to drill into. So that's where we at. Be finished today. 
Hopefully. <laughs> That's a story of our life. That's a story of my we'll life. Be, be finished, finished today. today. That's what we're going to end the video. Be finished today. <laughs> Till next time, peace. Be free. <laughs> I'm like I'm throwing the right hook. That was a day where we had to cut wood down by hand. And we think we're better than those people from back then. Nope. Imagine if I had to cut this down as a tree. Ooh, buddy. <laughs>